always goes to with this game. And then stresses it with his aim. So there we have now the game beginning between Sparty and Mabel on Toxicity. And Sparty takes a very quick round in the first five seconds there, but he does get the Mega. So it didn't really actually hurt very much at all. There, that one hurt a bit. And Madball, he needs to keep controlling the rail. Sparty gets it, and Madball isn't there to even do damage. Oh, there he is. Weak frag for Madball. And he still possesses a lot of stack left. And Sparty not really connecting with much. Or anything. Another rail frag. From, well, first rail frag from Madball. Connecting a lot right now. And if he can... If the momentum is going this way. And he can get this mega with no problem. Then Sparty's in trouble. Because Mabel, if he knows how to run the spawns, control the spawns in this map, and if he keeps connecting, boom, it's going to be over for Sparty, potentially in the first five minutes. You've got to be careful, Toxicity is an explosive map. Not even one minute in, and Madball is already at full control, nearly 200 to 100. Sparty is definitely needs to connect now. It's the time to stop Madball on his track. There's some good damage there. But he's really low, so he's gonna have to be passive, a little bit passive around the map, or he will invest frags. Let's see what will he do. And Maple creeping around, trying to protect that mega position with his life. Red spawning as well. Surprised he wasn't a bit more proactive on the red angle, but there he's gonna find Sparking behind that box. Boom, easy frag. This is dangerous. He just got a completely easy frag. It was so easy. And Sparty now going down four frags to zero already. Maple. We haven't even seen a sign of the game looking like it's in any kind of trouble for him. Sparky had done the, w the right thing before the mag and the red spawns. He did nice. damage, but then he was so low that the best choice there would be to die and then rush again when they respond. So, they, so he would steal one of them. And now he's forcing himself to hit shots like he is doing right now. Oh, and Mabel has no... Oh, he hit a lot of rail. And the thing is, Mabel ran out of LG cells, so he couldn't finish Sparky off quickly. And now the Mega's up, and Sparty's being aggressive. There you go. So it was all about Mabel running out of lightning gun there. And he hits the oh. direct grenade. Beautiful. That's going to hurt a little bit. On the noggin of Sparty. As Mabel now watches over diligently here, over that red armor. Spamming those grenades. I don't know if spamming those grenades is good. He kind of wants Sparty to drop down there. Because, but fair enough, he's actually going to pin Sparty at that rally. Sparty couldn't escape, so it turns out to be a very brilliant move. And Mabel picks up not only another frag, but a clean red. And now he's going to get for a potentially a clean mega. But Sparty in with the damage. Oh, he steals away the mega. Mabel. Okay, and he stole the Mega, but now he needs to attack at the red, because if he doesn't, Madball's gonna keep running the map. What will Sparty do right now? That's one. He needs to do the damage, and he's not really connecting with much. Uh, Sparty plans the fight, but then when the fights come, he just can't really do what he had planned. So over 600 more damage to Madball dealt. Two more rails. This is what I was saying before, like Mapple clearly has the aim and the fighting abilities. So if you get him in a situation like this, it's, it can be scary. And so far he hasn't shown a sign that he is going to make a decision that's so short-sighted that it costs him control in the game. So that kind of... Uh, that fizzling out. That, oh man, that direct grenade wow. onto Sparty. It's okay for Sparty. It would be better for Sparty to just die now to, to be able to attack at the next red, because right now He's gonna get the 50, so he's still in position to take the red. Mabel, here he comes with the lightning gun, close range, it's a good connection. But again, down goes Sparty. Sparty had a plan there, but he just couldn't held his ground when the time came. And Mabel now here, ready in time for this Mega. He, he gets the Mega stolen again though by Sparty, but he didn't really take much damage. Oh, there it is, there's a damage from Sparty. But Mabel looks calm still. He still has good options. The red is coming up. Oh, he catches Sparty in the absolute worst position. And oh, he gets the frag as well. And Sparty is in trouble, man. It's 10 to 0. Well, this is a very fast map. If Sparty doesn't actually start connecting in the fights he's planning to, it's just, I, don't, I don't see him coming back into this right now. Yeah, were you expecting this kind of result? No, I was expecting... I was actually expecting Sparty to win. Yeah, I think you and everyone else who plays Quake <laughs> is expecting that result. But great stuff from Madball here. I mean, toxicity is so much about not just hitting the shots, but knowing how to set yourself up after hitting the shots so you can get the spawn damage. 
Mabble's been doing a very good ABC game so far. Everything's spawning at once. So Sparty has to be able to get 11 frags in 5 minutes or more. Could be able to do what Mabble has done, or better, but he hasn't even shown signs of breaking Mabble's control yet. So things are just getting worse and worse. All the rev is not taking damage yet. Yeah, this could be good for him. He cannot go for the SLG fight. That will be bad. And he's going for it. So the damage he's exchanging with Madball is just not in his favor right now. Red is coming up now. Madball in position to defend it. And there's plenty of time to get back to Mega afterwards. And Spotty goes for the fight. And this is really... Oh, oh wow. Bloody and real by Madball. Yeah, that, that really puts the wrench in the works for Sparty. And Sparty's not even going to be on the Mega side. Oh, he does get the frag! That was very Mega risky, up. though. Very, very risky, and as we see... Oh, Mabble! <laughs> wow. So, after all, the, that did not pay off. Sparty's still contesting the control, but with 4 minutes to go and 12 frags down, you don't want to be contesting the control. You want to have control already, and be on the way to the comeback. Now we're just dealing as much damage and then gets out without receiving anything. It's just a uh, very, very solid play from Mabel so far. Yeah, surprising, uh, surprising scoreline. Whoa. Huge bounce there on Sparty. Three and a half minutes left. Sparty has a lot to do. Some rail from Mabel. It's a trade there. But who's going to get the better spawn? Looks like Mammal gets a decent enough spawn. Red, Plasma, gets himself onto that mega position. Going to circle back around to the LG and the yellow. So Mammal getting a better situation on the snag off of that, I think. Well, I mean, the mutual frag was already a better situation for Madball. Yeah, as far oh, as yeah. the all he needs right now is... He needs a miracle pretty much. Come back onto this. Yep, that is very true. I mean, if he does do it, it be pretty fantastic movie worthy but his body goes down again 14 the difference three minutes left and the machine gun comes out for Sparty and it's not gonna help you good sir good Swedish sir Mabel picks up the mega it does take a stray rail from Sparty there though but he just uh, shrugs it off this body does pursue does actually grab the frag but he can't, he can't make a single barrel here. There it is. Hits another two. Rocket jumps up after the, the red pickup. And finally this could... He actually switches to... <laughs> he switched to rail there. He had like guaranteed rocket frag, but he switches to rail. Interesting stuff from Sparty. Hits another two in a row. Sparty going to find Mabble again. Well, I've never seen anyone. Oh, yeah. Do 12 frags in two minutes, so Sparty would be the first. I've seen it happen in Aerial for the first two minutes, but really not any, uh, not in any other map. And not in any other situation in the first two minutes, where you get the, like, the perfect spawns yeah. and the perfect everything. But Mabel definitely performing very well here. Very unexpected result. We'll have to check the brackets afterwards to see who Mabel is going to run into. Um, that will be very interesting to know what Mabel's journey will be like, as well as what RZD's journey will be like now. And RZD defeated Demon just now on Furious Heights by one frag. And uh, let's have a look now. Mabel. Finding Sparty once again. And still hitting the shots. Let's have a look at the uh, items taken actually. Oh, actually, I just missed a rail shot there, but let's have a look at the items taken. Yeah, so Mabel definitely, you can see, he had strong control throughout the entire map. Spotty did steal a lot of megas, almost on even meg megas with Mabel. But, the, but Mabel was always in a spot where he could do a lot of damage and escape without receiving anything. And he was always happy to do that. You can see it always worked out in his favor. And Sparty had a few nice attempts, but it would usually end up in a, in a trade situation or something that would just benefit Mabel. So the entire game was just revolving around good situations for Mabel. Definitely, uh, definitely Sparty not incredibly lucky in this game, not so much luck, but...